I'm London Fulkerson and welcome to FCN. Floyd Central students have a lot to look forward to in the upcoming months with all of our sports games and the beautiful weather that is heading our way. But most importantly, we are looking forward to the spring musical Anything Goes. Our theater students have been working extremely hard to make this a spectacular performance. We sent our very own Jude Harrison to go behind the scenes and see what goes on off stage. I'm Jude Harrison reporting for FCN, cool. and I'm here in the auditorium where the musical Anything Goes will be taking place. Let's take an inside look and see at all the things that go into the musical to bring it to you. Anything Goes is a love story about Billy Crocker, who is in love with Hope Harcourt, who is engaged to a wealthy man. They are aboard a boat, and Billy must win over Hope's heart before they arrive in England or in order to stop the wedding. Billy is willing to do anything to make Hope fall in love with him, even if it means working with criminals. Floyd Central Performing Arts has been working very hard to bring you their edition of Anything Goes. We talked to the Director of Theatre Arts here at Floyd, Brooklyn Chalfant. So we have three different types of rehearsals. We have a choreography rehearsal where they learn the dancing, a music rehearsal where they learn all the music for the show, and blocking rehearsal, which is where I teach the staging for all of the different uh, scenes and numbers. With the opening night being in less than a month, students have kicked it into high gear in order to bring you their best version of the show. This can be hard on a student with some rehearsals being over three hours long and then having to go home and practice lines on your own time. However, it all ends up being worth it when they get to see the smiles that they put on the crowd's faces. So we invite you to attend on March 10th, 11th, 17th, and 18th at 7 p.m. or on March 12th and 19th at 2 p.m. Student tickets are $8 and adult tickets are $15. We hope to see you there. This is sure to be a show you won't want to miss. If you are interested in seeing these talented students and anything goes, tickets are on sale now at floydcentralbooktix.com. Since we're on the topic of musicals, the Kentucky Center of the Arts is putting on a production of the well-beloved family musical, Annie. Shows are from February 14th through the 19th, and tickets are selling out fast. Go to tickets.kentuckyperformingarts.org to purchase tickets. You won't regret it. The Floyd County Health Department is coming to Floyd Central, and they will be hosting an in-school shot clinic to get students up to date on their immunizations. Students who have filled out the paperwork will get a pass on February 21st and are to report to the NPR to get their shots. Make sure to check your emails. People who have a weighted GPA of 3.9 or higher are now allowed to apply for National Honor Society. If you wish to apply, print out the application form and turn it in on March 1st. This is a strict deadline and any late applications will not be accepted. You can turn it in to Ms. Collins in room A214. A new bathroom policy has been enforced during the second semester. Students are prohibited from using the bathrooms 10 minutes after the bell rings, and they will be closed off during lunch. Intervention team, uh, where we got, came as a, as a group, uh, which is made up of teachers, uh, of, um, of also support staff members, to talk about, okay, what behavior do you think we could focus on as a whole school that might improve a lot of other behaviors, that would improve academic achievement, all of that stuff. Um, and one of the things that the teachers said they were having trouble with was getting students to class on time. And that was an issue. Um, if you were to go out in the hallways, there were any, any time, uh, you know, 30, um, you know, 20, 30 kids out in the hallway after the bell rang. This has recently just started and students are outraged saying they need to use the bathrooms at this time. But our school keeps applying this policy. Whether our school keeps the policy or gets rid of it for next year, we are sure to keep seeing changes in the near future. Coming up, we will have a glimpse into what the weather will be for this week.
Whether it be rain or shine, we got you covered. Sophie Woodard is here to tell you what to expect in the following days. Thanks, London. So let's take a look at the weekend. Friday, it's gonna be a little bit rainy and a high of about 48 and a low of about 29. And Saturday, we're looking at mostly cloudy with a high of about 47 and a low of 31. And Sunday, it's gonna be warming up a little bit. We're gonna have mostly cloudy again though with a high of 50 and a low of 39. This week, it's gonna be mostly cloudy again on Monday, high of about 53 and a low of 41. Tuesday, we're looking at a little bit more sunshine. It's gonna be partly cloudy, um, high of 47 and a low of 32. And for Wednesday, it's gonna be sunny and a high of 51 with a low of 32. Be a great day to get outside and take a hike or whatever. Thursday, it's gonna be rainy again with a high of about 56 and a low of 45. Thanks, Sophie. There are a lot of things going on in the world of Highlander sports, so let's dive on in. Speaking of diving, FC Swimming and Diving is going to be at State next week at IU Natatorium. Be sure to show up if you want to see the Highlanders make a splash. Boys volleyball tryouts are at the end of February, so if you're thinking about trying out the sport, now is the time. The team is looking to bounce back from a 6-8 and eight season with a great returning class. Seniors such as Jude Harrison are leading the way, with young blood bringing new life to the program in the form of a sizable freshman team. Athletes aren't just active in their respective seasons. Most, at, most athletes spend the offseason training and working to be the best they can be for next year. The elective PE class offered at FC is a way for athletes to stay in top shape over the year. A PE student, Kylie Carbino, shares her thoughts on conditioning and how this class helps her in her sports. In the weight room every day, it helps me build muscle mass with his different types of workouts, which help get my times faster for track and help me get better at all of my sports, all just well-rounded, I guess. Boys basketball is going to state soon. Be sure to show up to their next few games to help support the Highlanders. The next game is Saturday the 18th at Bloomington South. The team is looking to get some momentum heading into the state tournament. Track and field season is off to the races, and for some athletes, it's the best time of the year. These athletes are in tip-top shape and work hard to get there. Some of the athletes say they do the most exciting left turn since NASCAR, and watching them, I'm inclined to agree. All of our runners are very spirited and dedicated to their sport, training hours for the best possible time. We got an interview with a seasoned runner here at FC, Precious Flan. So what are your thoughts on the track team this year? Um, there's a lot of new freshmen. I feel like our team is going to be very fast. Good coaches, we have a few more coaches. I look forward to seeing what we can do in conference, regionals, and possibly state. All right. That's going to do it for the Highlander Sports. I've been Ryan Miller. London, back to you. With a lot of students getting their license, the parking lot is becoming crammed. Students who did not purchase a parking pass are being urged to park in the BAM parking lot. 
This is to help clear up space for the kids who have purchased a pass. So if you don't have a parking pass, we encourage you to park in the BAM parking lot. They say dogs are a man best friend and are loyal companions to everyone. This is why Possibility is giving back to Vietnam War veterans to help with PTSD or anyone in need of a service dog. Whatever the circumstances may be, they have all been well trained and are ready to help. If you know someone looking for a service dog, contact John Wells at 502-410-9490 or email him at onepossibility at gmail.com. However, if you don't know anyone but still want to help, go check out their website, possibility.org, to donate. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for joining us at FCN.